Hey guys, I hope you all had a great holiday. I'm so sorry for not posting like any videos at all in the last few weeks. It's been kind of crazy between traveling back and forth between families for the holidays and new baby and all that stuff. Uh, lots of lessons. So I apologize for the lack of videos, but I'm hoping to get back to it now. Um, so here for my first video as I come back from the break is another one of our power drills called the single leg kickback drill. And this drill is really great for, again, working on core strength, the push off the rubber, but also really activating the glute muscles, which are your butt muscles, your big strong butt muscles, um, that are really, really important not only for pushing off the rubber aggressively, but also hip stabilization for getting us into correct power K when we land. So I'm gonna show you what this drill looks like. You're gonna start from the rubber, and you're gonna start with your leg up in this position, ball goes in the glove. And you'll notice that my foot is parallel with the power line. I'm not letting my foot drift this way because then again, I'm much more likely to stride and have my stride foot land crossing over the power line, which we know blocks the arm from getting down the throw zone. So we wanna make sure that we're up nice and tall, nice and balanced. Right foot for righties, left foot for lefties starts on the power line, and then your stride foot lifts straight up, foot parallel with the power line. From here, I'm very slowly going to kick this leg straight back and get into a sort of plank position, and then I'm gonna pull up quickly and squeeze my glutes as I'm doing it, so I'm really activating those muscles as if you were doing a squat or a deadlift. Um, and I'm obviously not going to <laughs> be as strong at this as some of my students. I'm gonna go back as far as I can, but after having a baby, my balance isn't that great. But I'm gonna show you quickly what it looks like. We're gonna do three kickbacks in total, and on the third one, we're gonna push off and pitch, so it's gonna look like this. So we get up, we're gonna go back, nice and slow, pull up fast and squeeze the glutes. Nice and slow, engaging the core, pull up fast and squeeze the glutes, and then on the third one, we're gonna go back slow, push off and pitch. So I'm really focusing on something I like to tell my girls when it comes to feeling like you're using the core is if you were about to like get punched in the stomach and you would like tense your abs up to try and brace for it if you kind of do that same kind of ab tensing while you're on the rubber and kicking the leg back it can help you engage the core more and stay a little bit more balanced so i'm going to show you one more time engage the core go back slow up fast squeeze the glutes Go back slow, up fast, squeeze the glutes, load, and push and pitch. If you're doing this with one of your pitchers and you're finding she's having a hard time balancing through three kickbacks, you can also just have her do one. So go back slow, push off and pitch. So it will look like this. Up, sorry, I lost my balance. Up, slow back push off and pitch. So again, this is a really great drill for feeling glute activation, core activation, and really working on that push off the rubber and getting ourselves into a good power K. Let me know if you find this helpful, if you try it out with your advanced pitching students, and I'll talk to you next time.